First of all, congratulations, Miss Chile. How does it feel to be here? Well, um, be here feels amazing. It's like it's an, an imaginable, an imaginable experience. Sorry, my English. It's an an imaginable experience. It's like I really I don't know if I truly believe if I'm here now or not. It's like yesterday we went to a restaurant with the, with the girls, and I was talking with Colombia and Bolivia, and I was like, we are really here. It, it's something that it's one experience in life. It, it and it's amazing. I'm I'm in, I'm I'm the happiest person in the world. I think. Tell me about your journey in Chile. To being Miss Chile and then to coming here, where did this all begin? Where the pageantry began? How did you get to be? Well, um, to be here wasn't easy at all. Well, at first for COVID, uh, well, the pageantry in my country was very hard. Everything was online except the final. Uh, so I didn't meet the girls to the final. I, I was was weird, was different, and for example. Prepare for the pageant was hard because can you imagine runway classes online? It's like, what did you do? It was looking at the screen and everything was difficult. But but I think that when you are organized, you organize everything. Everything is possible, of course. And well, to be here was a little hard because in my country the borders are closed. So we have to, to take permissions on things. And I don't know, I have um, an autoimmune disease which affect my bones. So learn how to walk in these high heels. Can you imagine that? I was, was like, mom, I can't anymore. I can do this. But now I'm here. And to be honest, honest, uh, really, really honest, just be here, I feel like I win. It's, it's great. How does it feel to be here with all the other Miss Universe, um, you know, winners from all around the world, and, and what's that sense of camaraderie ship or sisterhood? What's that like to come together? Does it feel good to be here with all of the other girls around the world? Um, yes, of course, because, well, uh, during the pandemic, we, we, are, we are all been talking, and I had a lot of online friends, for example, I don't know, Bolivia, Venezuela, uh, Italy, uh, and a few more girls, uh, so and be here and sharing this experience. Uh, it's it's amazing. It's something that I really can't explain in words. Uh, all the girls have to do this to to understand what I'm what I'm uh, telling. Because um, being here is like something. No, I I can't explain. Even in even in Spanish, I can't. Tell me about um, the support that you've had from Chile, from everyone in Chile, and how does that make you feel um, to be here this week? Chile is behind you, you have some supporters here, or is it hard not having as many people here to support you? Do you feel the love of Chile? Well, in my country, uh, they don't know a lot about pageantries, but when I won Miss Universe, the country was like a mess. Every everyone was talking about me and supporting me, and uh, no, it's crazy. Here in Miami, there are a lot of Chilean people supporting me with flags like ti 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 le le le, and in the social media, a lot of people is writing me every day. I have a lot of followers who supporting me in my pictures, in Miss Universe pictures. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's great. I have a lot of support. I, I really, I even imagine this kind of support. It's great. It makes you feel good? Amazing. I feel amazing with that, of course. What do you hope to take out of this week for you? You said, you know, it doesn't really matter whether you win or lose, but for you, for your own growth, what do you think you'll take out of this week? Well, at first it was, was very hard for me uh, because... Uh, my disease limit me to do a lot of things and this was a really um, desafio I don't know how to say in English because uh, m my bones and my my joints hurts all day I have spots in my skin I have problems in my eyes and it was very hard to understand that I can do everything I want so 
When I won in Chile, it was like, okay, Daniela, you can do everything, no matter if I have a disease or if maybe if I'm smaller than the other contestants. So for me, the most important thing in this uh, pageant is like, believe in me and understand that I can really do whatever I want if I want it. How do you think your story is inspiring other young girls who face similar challenges, may have a disease or some other condition that is holding them back? How does your story inspire you? Well, I, I think or I believe that now it's been inspiring a lot of people. I receive a lot of messages every day about that because, for example, in, my, in this disease, this autoimmune disease, there are, it's like a, a known place. Any, anyone knows what happened in 10 years or 20 years or five days. So we always feel different like the other people. And being here is like, I'm proving you that we are not different like the others. We can do everything we want if we propose to do that. And when I read all the, the messages that I receive every day, it's very emotional because it's like, Wow, I really am doing a change in society. And I, when, when, I had di when I was diagnosed, I was very sad and I was like, why this happened to me? I, I didn't understand. But now I can realize that it's because we have to share our things to the world. We have to inspire with our um, situations. And being here is the proof that no matter what happens to us, if we have a condition, a disease, or we're different, or we feel different to the others, nothing, it's a problem, we want something. So I'm here for that, to prove to all the people that we can do everything we want, really. How has it been for you here on the ground, and you know, in the day to day? How have you been coping, and is it fun? Are you having fun? Here? Yes. Of course that I'm having fun here. Well, our brain tends, I think yesterday I slept like two hours and a half. I have to do my, my hair and my makeup, of course I have to look good, <laughs> but it's amazing. The, the girls are very funny. Uh, we are here for the same thing. Of course, we are here for win the crown, but it's to live experience too. So, no, I'm so happy. I can, if you want, I can live here. <laughs> No, it's, it's lovely, amazing. I'm very, very happy. Have you made some lasting friendships since being here that you think you will have forever? Well, Bolivia and Italy, I think. I told her, uh, I told them yesterday, that I, of course, that I will go to, to their countries to see them. And I really believe that, that maybe it could be a, a long friendship, of course. What would you say to all of your supporters at home who are all behind you, you know, willing you on this week? What would you say? To them? Yes. What would you say to Chile? Ah, oh, I would love to say to Chile that I'm so grateful, thankful. I really, I never imagined the support that I really have now. It's like, I really feel like, I don't know, Angelina Jolie in Hollywood. It's like, oh my God. Um, please keep supporting me. Um, maybe we have the second crown to my country so we have to keep supporting and of course um, enjoying the experience with me